Hi guys, George here from Mac Academy. As many of you know from the end of my last video, today's video is basic HTML coding within Text Wrangler for Mac. So, as uh, a lot of you will know, every web page you look at is written in a language called HTML. You can think of HTML as the skeleton that gives every web page structure. In this video, we'll use HTML to add paragraphs and headings to a page. First off, we'll open the application I'm going to be using for this video. Text Wrangler. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext means text with links in it. Anytime you click a word that brings you to a new web page, you've clicked on Hypertext. A markup language is a programming language used to make text do more than just sit on a page. It can turn text into images, links, tables, lists, and much more. HTML is a markup language we'll be learning. CSS or cascading style sheets is what makes your page look pretty. Think of it like the skin and makeup that covers the bones of your HTML. We'll learn HTML first, then worry about CSS in a later video. The first thing we should do is set up the skeleton of a page. Always put the tag I'm typing now at the beginning <coughs> of a HTML document. It tells the browser what language it's reading, in this case HTML. You then always put this opening HTML tag on the next line down. That starts the HTML document. And always put the closing tag for HTML, which is the same with a forward slash, at the bottom of your document. That ends the HTML document. If you're following along this video in Text Wrangler or another text editor, go ahead and in, open a new document and fill in the tags that I have just, just done there for you. To learn more HTML, we should learn how to talk about HTML. Already you've seen these little brackets used a lot. The things inside these are called tags. Tags nearly always come in pairs, an opening tag, like this HTML, and a closing tag, like this HTML. You can think of tags as being like brackets. Whenever you open one, you should close it. Tags also nest, so you should close them in the right order. The most recently open tag should be the first one closed, like in this example. First tag. Second tag. Content goes in between the tags. Forward slash close the second tag and then close the first tag. See how that's done. Now for this example, I'm going to comment out that. So that my HTML document doesn't read my examples. Okay, so I've taught you how to set up a HTML file. Everything we'll do now will go between the two HTML tags. There are always two parts to a file, the head and the body. So let's focus on the head first of all. It has an opening and closing tag, which as I'm sure you can guess, is the word head. A head includes important information about the web page, such as its title. The title is the words we see in the tab. For example, when you open Google, in the tab at the top you see Google. If you're following along, Add the head opening and closing tags. Between the head tags, add opening and closing tags for the title, like this. You can call your web page whatever you want. I'm going to go with Mac Academy. Now we've set up a lot of basic things for your HTML file. We've learned about opening and closing tags, and we've put content between the tags. But the entire bit is called an element. Your element equals your opening tag plus your content and then your closing tag. Notice how we have both title tags now, but we need body tags. The content in your body 
is what will be visible on the actual page. The body goes inside the HTML tags, but not inside the head tags, like this. We'll just remove those to clear up the page a bit so you don't get confused. So first off, you have your HTML tag. You then have your head. We're then going to add the body of the HTML document, like so. Between your title tags, give your page a name, if you haven't already. Underneath the closing head tag, put the opening and closing body tags. Now, inside the body, let's create a paragraph. Each paragraph requires opening and closing tags. If you can guess what those paragraph tags are, they are just a P. We put content between these tags. Between the body tags, create two paragraphs. And write content in each paragraph. This will require two pairs of tags, like I've just written on my screen. So for example, you could write, I am learning to code with Mac Academy. Sorry for my typos there. I think coding is a lot easier than I first thought. Now that is all for this video. Have a practice making some basic web pages of your own. To test if your code is correct, then you can save your document as a .html and open it in whatever browser you use. All you have to do to find some new tags if you get bored just doing paragraphs is search HTML tags in your favourite search engine and you should be able to find new ones with a key of what they do. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.